Today, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to use frames in Canva. There's so many things that you can do with frames. They are so much fun and they can really elevate your social media posts or your marketing or even if you're designing an invitation for your kid's birthday party. There's so many things that you can do with frames. So what we're going to do is we are going to open up a a document here and you can do a square, you can do whatever size frame you want. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the elements tab. And if you want, you can search for frame and there's going to give you suggested ones here. So frame flower, flower frame circle, frame with flowers. You can do that or you can just go to frames or what you can do if you don't want to search that is you can go to elements and just scroll down until you see frames. So then we're going to click see all and there's all these different types of frames. We have frames of basic shapes and we can look at all of these, which are really fun. And anytime that you see this background of like this landscape background, that means that you can put an image inside. So we can do any of these frames where we can do photo frames. These can really elevate if you want to do like Polaroid pictures, you can do that. There are so many different things that you can do with photo frames, devices. This is also really great if you're making a flat lay, something for marketing. You can do a like an iMac right there, or you can do a phone. I use the phone one all the time, and it looks like it's taking a screenshot. You can do a computer, a laptop. You can do so many different things here. You can even do a smartwatch as well. So those are devices. There's also paper ones, flowers, blobs, retro, letters, numbers, trending. There's so many different ones. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose one. And I am going to first choose this Polaroid picture. And if you click on a corner, it's going to change the size and keep the proportion. So keep that in mind. And then what you can do is you can either go to your uploads and add a photo. Like this is a picture that I took in Hawaii. So if I wanted to add it, I can just click on it and drag it in. And then I can also reposition it. So if I double click it, I can reposition. I can bring it to the left or to the right. So that would be a Polaroid picture style. Or what you can also do is you can just click and drag it in. And then I can also reposition this one as well. Another thing that you can do is if you are clicking on the object and you see these colors up here, you can change those. So say you want this to be stark white, you can change that to look more like a polar picture. And then you can change the background of your image to something to make it look white like that. Or if you want, you can make it gray or whatever color you want. So you can do that and you can change all the different, the outline, images, all of that. Anything you see different level of colors, you can do that there. Next, you can also, let's look back at elements and then at frames. We're gonna delete this one. I'm just gonna highlight everything and delete it. Let's go to letters. So this would be really cool if you were designing something and you wanted to do different numbers or letters, like maybe a, a company logo or a kid's birthday party or something like that. So you can have different letters. So we can also go into, you can go to uploads or you can go to elements here and you can search. So I can search puppy and it's going to give all of these photos of puppies. So I could do that one there. And then if I wanted this one, I could do that one in B and I can also double click and slide, slide the image over. So that's B. And then if I wanted whoop, for C, I could do that one. And so you can do that. You can also do like flowers would be really pretty. So if we want to go to photos, now we can search all of these stock photos. So we can do flowers. So this would be really pretty to do this. Oh, that's a bad one. Let's do this one for C. So you can also do that where it is different photos of for your letters as well. So that's another use of frames that you could use. Or if you wanted to do this try one here. So if we wanted multiple different pictures. So let me go back to some of my Hawaii pictures 
that I've uploaded. So here's one. Let's do this one on the right. You can do that one. And then here's one of Diamond Head. Let me make this a little bit bigger so that way you can see Diamond Head there. And then I could do this one of the sunset. So if I wanted to make like a photo collage, I could do that with these three photos, with these frames. Another thing that we could do is if you wanted to just do maybe paint or paper, or, uh, paper. so we could do photos and then we could do this one. So it kind of looks like it's ripped out of almost like, like a magazine, which would be really cool as well that you can use. You can also actually, let me show you this. So what I've done as well is I've taken this circle and the circle and let's add this headshot here and so i'm going to take this line that up there i'm also going to we can also edit the photo so i can bring up the brightness and the contrast a little bit and then i could even add text so i could Do this. I could go Kelly and Smith. Do left align, and then I can add another text box here, and I could go freedom in budget. And then I could add another one. I could do freedominbudget.com. So if I wanted to have my website or something like this, and I wanted to create this as an email signature, and then I can take all of these, center them, and then I can group them, and then I can export this and use this as an email signature. So that's totally an option as well. There are so many possibilities that you can do with frames. Check out these other tutorials to learn Canva better. And also if you want to use Canva to make digital downloads, check out this video of 30 different digital download ideas.